Our first inductee into the NTPA Hall of Fame has made a major impact on the sport of pulling that was as prevalent in 1970 as it is in 2013. He developed a mystique early in his career as a developmental engineer for the sport of pulling, eager to squeeze more horsepower out of a proven system for his international harvester customers. Ironically, Hypermax Engineering's creator, Jerry Lagarde, our first inductee into the NTPA Hall of Fame, was impacting the sport of pulling before he even knew what the sport was about. Multitudes of Superstock championships won by Red Persuasion would not have been possible without his decades as a driving force to advance more horsepower out of a binder's turbocharged engine. At a young age, Jerry Lagarde enjoyed bicycles, motorbikes, and race cars, anything that had moving parts and could create power and or speed. Lagarde drag raced on the streets in high school and later raced road course cars. Jerry was very curious and quickly recognized that things he enjoyed most were engines. During high school, Lagarde drove a gravel truck with a PH diesel engine for a couple of summers in the latter part of the 1950s. Some drivers made fun of the power plant and Jerry's enthusiastic propensity for driving the old Ford truck with a two cycle diesel. However, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and Lagarde was full of mechanical intrigue, imagining what improvements and modifications could be done. This experience, in part, led Jerry to pursue his mechanical passion as a career. After spending a couple of years at the University of Illinois in Chicago, he moved on to Angola's Indiana Tri-State University, where he wrapped up his degree in mechanical engineering. With diploma in hand, Jerry began working for the International Harvester Engine Division, located in Melrose Park, Illinois, in 1962. IH built their diesel engines for many applications. During his interview with the company, Jerry learned for a need for bodies in the fuel injecting area. Sounded like a great place to begin, so he took the job and remained with the company for nearly a dozen years. Jerry worked primarily with the 300 and 400 series engine for IH during his tenure. They were looking to phase out the 407 engine with the newer 414 and 436 versions. The IH Tractor Sales Group was looking for something more powerful in the field, so marketing a new series of workhorse tractors of the day to the farmers was paramount. After many of these models sold, bragging rights for agricultural power over your neighbors began to really take off in tractor pulling contests at the county fairs. Much to the chagrin of the IH brass, farmers began complaining about the older 407 series engines kicking ass, as Lagarde characterized it, at these contests over the newer, more powerful production counterparts. The higher-ups did not like this situation, Lagarde said, so the job was given to me to make the 436 engine outperform the 407. From this new task grew additional research and development responsibilities for Jerry as the 1960s rolled into the 1970s. Even with his racing background, Jerry did not know what a tractor pull was. He, he'd never seen one. Lagarde thought that two tractors were chained back to back. After seeing his first one, he was hooked and made a number of pulling contacts. Every puller seemed to want a part of Jerry's IH power touch. Lagarde finished the project in IH's view and the 436 project found power gains that the brass were looking for to satisfy the farming segment of their business. However, Lagarde had so much more on the table to implement. He had an inline pump package drafted as well as the first water injection system diagram instead of the ice chest for the bulky intercoolers of the day. He could not convince the brass at IH to continue the project as the liability was of the major concern. The God saw the large untapped market in the sport of pulling and decided part ways with IH to start his own full-time high-performance shop called Hypermax. The first full year of operation for Lagarde's new business was in 1972 in a shop behind his home in Illinois. The name was discovered on the day that Jerry and his wife Linda were debating on what to call the business while deciding to file the incorporation papers. Their young son, Max, repeatedly interrupted the grown-up's conversation and Jerry finally peered into the back seat and asked, Why are you so hyper, Max? Jerry considers John D. Thompson his first pulling customer. Once Jerry opened his business, John D. was ready to be the Hypermax track tester. Thompson ended up with that special inline pump and stuck a pair of silver side shields on so no one could see the new technology even the early NTPA tech inspectors of the day. 
The Hypermax tractors began to be known as Silver Shields as Jerry handed out a pair to every customer, asking them always to have them on. The winning came in droves. The customer base grew, and so did the mystique. In 1973, Thompson debuted the first water injection system that Legat had perfected for high-performance diesel engines after seeing it used in World War II applications. The setups were two-turbo, two-stage IH diesel engine. The 9,000-pound and 12,000-pound Superstock classes began seeing Big Red coming on strong with Hypermax's advances. The next big development came when the God moved to three turbochargers in the late 70s. These power plants with a trio of turbochargers were known as left-hand power as the exhaust came out the left-hand side of the tractor versus the right. Danny Dean and the Rooster really took off with this setup, winning seven championships in a five-year period. Another big step in the Hypermax program occurred when Jerry finally put together a four-charger system with three stages. Dickie Sullivan was the Hypermax track tester, and although it took a while for the God to master it to his liking, it is still having an impact in today's sport. Hypermax Engineering has a catalog of more than 1,700 parts for the sport of pulling's diesel divisions, and it's expanded to include everyday work trucks to competition diesel applications. And in a back to the future moment, Hypermax now manufactures the 400 series IH engine as it was originally designed. Jerry continued a project he started along with his son Max on a triple turbocharged DT 466 on a dragster known as the top diesel class. In 2012, the Hypermax dragster set a world record at the NHRDA World Finals on a blistering pass with a top speed of 216 miles an hour, 6.69 seconds. Although Max passed away two years earlier, Jerry knew that he was enjoying the moment along with the entire tight-knit group of Hypermax employees, many of whom have been with Jerry since the beginning. I'm very appreciative that I've made my living helping pulling and supporting NTPA, Legod said. Undoubtedly, decades of pullers and fans feel the same way about Hypermax engineering. Without Jerry Legod, the sport may not have blossomed in the 1970s as it did. From the silver side shields and dominating performers such as Danny Dean to this year's Superstock Diesel Champion by the Blaygraves, many competitors have relied on the contributions of Jerry Legod. Tonight, he joins several competitors who have utilized this technology and hard work in NTPA's Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mr. Jerry Lagarde, member of the 2013 NTPA Hall of Fame class.